Good morning. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Last night there was a lot of storms around us and I watched on the radar. It just here like pretend my head is my town. Okay, the storms went. There's like a little hole in the storms. And we just missed them. So that's good. Because I got a busy, busy day. Ah, yeah. What am I going to do today? No particular subject today. Because subjects, yeah, I don't know. I do better without them. And go back and watch yesterday's video. Where are we? Wake up, you people. Hey, that was pretty funny. Some stories about walking. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so I got to take a load up a couple of e-bikes today. Actually, it's a company they sent my first e-bike. They sent me another one. I've had it for a couple months. But they want me to get another channel involved to do the review and let them ride the older one and I'm going to ride the newer one. And we're going to take it to the park in town and I'm going to put the drone up, all that mumbo jumbo. And man, this thing, I tell you, I don't know if you can see. That dude's been charging all night. That's a drone battery. It ain't going to be ready, but I've got a fully charged one. Hopefully we can get it done with that. Uh, if not, whatever. So that'll be up on the other channel tonight. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm pretty quick at editing. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't get too fancy with it. Although I can. I just don't choose to. Next week, well, the next few weeks, I'm going to be quite busy. Quite busy. I have established um, care with my local, when I say local, I mean like Fort Smith, VA. And just, you know, when you get a new doctor, go to a new town, you have to establish care. So they got to have, you know, all records for themselves. Even though I went and had blood work with my private doctor last Friday, I had to go back last, or this month, what is today, Thursday? Yeah, I had to go back Monday, get all that done again. And so it was kind of cool to compare, you know, within a couple of days, you know, everything was good. Uh, my glucose is high, of course, but we're working on that. Uh, so I'm getting everything transferred over to the VA because, well, the VA's, you know, my VA's free. So, Medicare doesn't pay for everything, but the VA does. And they reimburse you for going. If I go to Fort Smith, they pay for it. So why not? So been busy with that. I've got to go for x-rays. I've got to go for a CAT scan. He wants to do a CAT scan on my chest because I was a smoker for 35 years. Uh, I did quit 12 years ago, almost 13 years ago, and but he wants, you know, he wants to make sure everything's good. I don't have any trouble with my lungs. In fact, I look back in my private doctor's records. We, I had to go to the emergency room. I was having some pain right up here, and thought there was a spot or something. There was an infection and inflammation on top of my lungs. I can't, can't remember what they call that. So they took a CAT scan, and the lungs come back normal. There's no no issues at all, so I'm not worried. But they, if, so, is that a hair? So far, man, the VA here at least is a and and my father tells me the VA where he's at's real. You know, they're a well-oiled machine. You go in there. I had to go in there. They send you to get the lab work done. Bam, you're in there. No time. Then you go to another room and wait, and I probably waited, I mean, there was probably 40 guys in there. Uh, I probably waited 45 minutes, and then the doctor spent about 40 minutes with me, 40 minutes, and I'm like, uh, you know, ain't there somebody else you need to help? He's asking me all kinds of questions, so he's pretty thorough. Uh, we was able to diagnose something else with my feet which I'll be claiming, uh, but I didn't know anything about that, and then he's the one that pointed it out, so it's, it's a reason that my back and my knees and my hips are also bad. Uh, when I first went into the Army in 1983, everything, you know, you go through the physical, everything was normal, and then when I re-enlisted several years later, 
in the physical they listed me with flat feet which I didn't have flat feet in the first one so that is in my military record but there's another one plainest something else and that's what I have real bad it's where your the the muscle the tendons or whatever between your heel and your toes uh, if you've ever got up in the you know if you're getting older and you've been out worked on your feet all your life and things which I have uh, you get up and you go to take your first steps. It's really difficult. That's it. And I've had that for a long time. And then as you walk more, you know, it gets easier and easier to walk. But my feet have really bothered me for the last the last year, more than ever. Um, I've noticed that. Working on getting the weight off, that will help. But it's not going to cure that. So got diagnosed with that this is what i need another diagnosis but it's good to learn these things and know and my private doctor is sending me to is it a podiatrist a foot doctor a foot doctor let's not get fancy so they're going to see if they can get me some inserts ba could do this but i already had the appointment set up uh with my private doctor so going to a podiatrist so yeah, like one day next week, I've got X-rays. I've got a first. They're they're doing a phone call. <laughs> I got to take a phone call. I they signed me up for a sleep test, but this sleep test is going to be. They're going to send me a machine to do at home, which is great because I don't sleep in a bed. I sleep in a recliner, and I've got bad insomnia. So if I was to go somewhere to do a sleep test, man, I don't I don't think I could fall asleep. I really don't, but the VA will allow you to do that at home. I don't know what exactly, I, I don't know if it's a CPAP machine or what they send you, but that's coming, but they got to call you one week and talk to you on the phone, and then the next week they call you and talk to you on the phone. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is drive there, go to the hospital they're sending me to for the x-rays, and I'll get it's a walk-in appointment which means I got to go on that day but I can go in any time I want but the earlier I can get in probably the better so I'm gonna get there early for that phone call do that in the parking lot then go in there then once I get out of there I got to zip over to the VA Center and that's where they'll do my CAT scan and it's gonna be a busy day <laughs> there's three days like that next week three days of that stuff but We'll get it all done. Uh, you know, got to do what you got to do. So I'm grateful to have the VA uh, and all that care and stuff. Because otherwise, you know, I would just be relying on Medicare. So, which is, you know, I guess better than nothing. Some people don't have any insurance. And this is not a time to, to have that. Oh, well, ain't much else going on. I've been yapping and yapping. Uh, like I said, no subject today, but I'm just putting one out there. It's the morning podcast. Uh, man, I have got to get out there and get some weed eating done. It has grown up. This time of year, when you get all this rain and storms and the humidity, it's it just grows like it grows like a weed, man. What can you do? Uh, I have something else I got going on. Let me look at my calendar. Oh yeah, what do I got to do? What do I got to do Monday, or is that Monday? I don't know. Got to go somewhere. Oh yeah, got to go a long ways. But we'll take care of everything. Man, I'm something in my mouth, a bug or something. All right, guys. Well, we'll make this one short. Pretty boring. Y'all ain't awake yet, are you? All right. So, yeah, there should be a video up today or tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I went out yesterday. Uh, drove all the way to my eye doctor's, which is 45 miles one way, 45 miles back. I had to pick up. I went to and got my eye appointment last week, two weeks ago actually, and then they have to order a trial pair of contacts. This is how this eye doctor operates. He gets one pair, 
and you wear it for a week or two and then you come in and he examines you again which i guess is good i've been wearing these things 30 years i don't i don't need to go i can tell you if they're good or they're not so you got to go drive to pick up the trial pair well i call us and they're not at that office every day the secretary's there three days a week the doctor's only there one day a week and the other days of the week he's in his office in fort smith so i drive all the way up there and there's a sign on the door gonna be late and i waited there 45 minutes and every time i have to go there when the doctor isn't there i go through this they don't show up or they're late so this is probably going to be my last visit to that eye doctor because the the employees just don't show up for work on time so now i got to go back whatever time i'm going to be in that area anyway several times next week so i got to go back pick them up it's just a big hassle uh i got to get my prescription and then the va will give me a pair of glasses uh with the prescription i got and they've got that right in the fort smith uh va office they got the vision so i can get a pair of glasses for free there they get you one every year and medicare i think medicaid does that too i don't i don't remember but uh, medicare does not but they will i think they pay for the exam i don't know the va paid for the eye exam because the nearest appointment you could get with them was november and i wasn't going to wait that long so they go ahead, they went ahead and referred me to my regular doctor so they'll take care of it so that's good so enough with doctors boy i'm getting old talking about doctor's visits but yeah anyway i'm going to be very busy with that for the next two weeks so i don't know if i'm going to get any building done i have been oh yeah i have been searching for i never thought i'd ever say this a gas grill yeah i want a gas grill to go with my other grills because i can fire that up outside cook anything i want and don't have to deal with charcoal and getting all that and charcoal is not cheap by the way uh, i don't want no pellet grill because i'm going to be cooking on it every single day so i want something but man i went to four different places yesterday and they have the grill i want in town but there was no price on it no help couldn't find anybody to get me a price so I'm going to wait till next week when I'm in the big city and probably go to Home Depot or Lowe's and pick one up there. Uh, I got plenty of full tanks of propane, so that way it keeps the heat out of the kitchen. I've been cooking on the induction oven, uh, but it's, you know, I would get more stuff on a uh, regular grill and I can get my cast iron skillets on there and all that no problem so for the summer i'll be put it under the carport be cooking under there all right guys we will see you tonight maybe if not be a video tomorrow on the other channel happy trails